Let's talk about the four left turning tendencies of our aircraft. The four things that will make our aircraft want to turn to the left are P-factor, torque effect, spiraling slipstream, and gyroscopic precession. P-factor is the most noticeable. What P-factor is, or propeller factor, is that as the propeller turns clockwise as viewed from the aircraft, it takes a bigger scoop of air on the right hand side than on the left hand side. The reason for that is, as the aircraft flies level in the air, you can see that the propeller blades are angled in such a way that they take an equal bite of air. If we were to pitch the aircraft up, as we do on takeoff and on climb out, you can see that the blade on the right is taking a much bigger bite of air than the blade on the left. Because of this, we get more thrust coming from the right hand side of our propeller. That makes the aircraft want to yaw to the left. It also generates slightly more lift on our right wing. As we accelerate more airflow over the right wing, we generate more lift. Therefore, the aircraft wants to bank slightly to the left. We counteract for this using right rudder on takeoff. The next left turning tendency is torque effect. As you take a big heavy metal propeller and spin it clockwise, as you add in full power, the aircraft wants to roll to the left, opposite the direction of rotation. That causes the aircraft to roll left and want to turn to the left. Again, we counteract with slightly right air lawn and right rudder. The next turning tendency is spiraling slipstream. Because this propeller blade rotates naturally clockwise, it naturally spirals the air around the aircraft and will strike the back side of the tail. This air striking the tail will yaw the aircraft to the left. To counteract this, we use more right rudder. The last turning tendency is gyroscopic precession. Now this is mostly noticeable in tailwheel aircraft, very slightly noticeable in tricycle aircraft like we fly. This is an example of a tailwheel aircraft where the center of gravity is behind the two main landing gear. With a spinning propeller, or as we think about it, a spinning disc, it creates gyroscopic effect. The gyroscopic effect, as you'll read about in the book, is if you apply a force to a spinning disc, it acts 90 degrees later in the direction of rotation. What all that fancy wording means is that if we apply a force to the bottom of the propeller or the bottom of the spinning disc, it acts 90 degrees later in the direction of rotation. Assuming the propeller is rotating clockwise, as viewed from the cockpit as it always does, that force will act as if it was applied to the left-hand side and want to turn the aircraft actually to the right. So as you lower the tail for takeoff, the aircraft will want to turn slightly to the right. As the tail raises for takeoff, we would expect the aircraft to turn left as in a tailwheel aircraft.